if a woman maybe is not quite ready to do medical hormone therapy, do you have other suggestions that might help them replete their estrogen levels? Yes. Many people don't realize that some foods contain estrogens, like plant-based foods contain phytoestrogens, so estrogens from plants. These are really helpful to a woman's body and most likely to a woman's uh, brain as well. And these are, well, soy is the best source. But there are other foods as well, like chickpeas, flax seeds, sesame seeds, uh, strawberries, apricots, really good, whole grains like wheat and rye, and also olive oil. And also women really need antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E and omega-3 fatty acid fish. Well, Dr. Viscani, we would just say to you, thank, for, thank you for joining us, but keep up the great work with your research you. and thank learning you so more about this you. potential increased risk for women because we don't have all the answers. No. And what I always believe if we don't have all the answers, and this is a, a perfect jumping off point from our previous segment about how what you eat can dictate how well you live, how long you live. And you look at these foods before us, and these are all foods that are also really good for your heart. We know foods that are cardio protective also seem to be protective of the brain. So it's a win-win. So we don't, what's kind of cool about where we are now with research in terms of food being such a big player in preventing disease is it's not as though you eat a certain meal to protect your liver and a different meal to protect your heart. And we'll have, you have to eat these for your brain. The beauty is these are good for all of those organs. And, and that's why if you can make foods like this a fixture in your diet. Make food your medicine. Make food yeah. your medicine. And I, I, I just think it's a wonderful way because we don't have all the answers. Simple changes you can make. Biohack, right? That's what you're doing here is you're yeah. biohacking. You're turning your cells in your brain into powerhouses by giving it the fuel it needs. I mean, great for women, but men too. I, I was we, actually just we, thinking that. I was thinking need... these are great tips overall. I mean, that, that statement about hormones and protecting women's health, I mean, it protects everybody's cardiovascular and brain health to really turn towards some of these more natural, really healthy choices. But still a lot more to learn yeah. when it comes to Alzheimer's. We're still in the dark on yep. so many yeah. things and why certain people are at risk, but hopefully more will be known in the years to come and maybe better treatments.